Wherever you go and whatever you do, may the luck of the Irish be there with you. And that summer, the luck of the Irish smiled to me. By the way, my name is Pierre. I study IT in an engineering school in the southwest of France called EISTI. During the school year, I code programs, I try to survive math, and to be honest, I don't go out very often. This summer, I wanted to do something totally different. I definitely wanted to work overseas on something worthwhile, giving a hand here and there, discovering new cultures and ways of life. As well as this, I've always been attracted by green landscapes of Ireland, positive vibes of this area, and I've always been tempted to volunteer. In the end, I chose to join an environmental awareness project in an Irish farm called Leeds House. The place has a very picturesque countryside with rolling hills, mountains, rivers and waterfalls. Sometimes the green landscapes reminded me of the Shire in Lord of the Rings, but Irish people don't look like hobbits with the exception of the friendliness. The farm is 8 kilometers far from the historic town of Macroom, the center of a region whose culture and economy is dominated by agriculture. The Leeds Awareness Project is focused on raising environmental awareness and in involving international volunteers in farming activities for the past 15 years. The project runs a few gardens that are chemical free and the program strives to create farming and gardening methods that sustain the natural environment. The living conditions in the Irish countryside and especially in a farm differ from the city comfort. I really enjoyed it because I came to Ireland to return to a simple lifestyle to avoid unnecessary needs and live more healthily. So, McDonald's and energy drinks. See you in a month, guys. Even if the tasks at the farm depend on the season and the weather, the summer months involve much more emphasis on gardening activities and much of the day is spent outdoors. Many animals are bred at Leeds House. Some are bred to meet the needs of the workers while others are bred to be sold in the market or to nearby farms. On my arrival at the farm, I thought that feeding animals every morning wasn't our work. But who knew? Thank you. 
Seriously, lads, what's the rush? <laughs> Good thing two border collies are used to help volunteers to move pigs, ants, and ducks. This kind of dog enjoys working with humans, and the owner of the farm told us that they really need to work often, otherwise, they become crazy and start biting cars, wheels, or every rolling stuff. Upon my arrival at the farm, I met with five volunteers coming from around the world to work on the project. Coming from America, Italy, Germany and Belgium, they were funny people and we got along very well. All the volunteers live in the basement of the owner's house, sharing cooking and cleaning duties. The number of working hours is approximately 40 hours per week and is flexible from day to day. Firewood plays a very important role in terms of comfort and life on the farm. To carry timber from the woodshed to the basement, we had to learn how to drive the Kubota the famous volunteer's tractor. It was quite funny to drive, even if reversing properly with the trailer requires expert skills I unfortunately didn't have. Yeah, well done genius, you forgot the handbrake. <laughs> Let's try again. Alright, better. The walled kitchen garden is a fascinating place. Many fruits, vegetables and plants are grown inside, well protected from hedgehogs and other pests. During a typical morning, we had to expand the organic kitchen garden to service our needs. During the afternoon, many tasks could be performed. They were very interesting because viable from day to day, as we usually worked in the fields or planting trees, restoring the pathways to their original state, moving sheep and cattle from field to field. It was tough work, but I didn't come to Ireland to get a suntan on the beach, even if it is impossible to tan effectively in Ireland, and Leeds House is quite far from the seaside, so <laughs> it was okay. Colin and Sally Wolf, the farm's owners, run a lovely shop in the Market Street in Cork. Decorated like an old Irish shop, it's a perfect place to sell fresh produce from the farm and other local farms. On Thursday, Friday and Saturday, we used to get up at dawn to collect vegetables in the fields, in order to sell them as fresh as possible to customers. The freshness of products is much appreciated and Colin's shop is well known for it. Sometimes, after working at the Saturday market, we would stay in Cork for the night and would return to the farm on Sunday evening. It was a very good way to go out to, to chill with friends as well. What I enjoyed the most in the pubs was live music. Most of the time there were really good bands of traditional Irish music and I definitely loved it. The nearest pub from Leeds House is a one hour walk, so the journey to get there is always motivating and lively. You know you are going to deserve your fresh beer when you get there. The return is always very funny as well. If beer invigorates more or less the mind, it makes the legs heavier. A German volunteer told us that once they took the Kubota to go to the pub because it was easier, and I asked, how was it? And she answered, well, it was a nice trailer of drunken volunteers. To conclude, 
This experience in Ireland was for sure one of the best experiences of my life. Leeds House project fulfilled all my expectations because this summer I returned to a healthy lifestyle. I discovered farming, gardening and living methods that sustain the natural environment and I really enjoyed it. Moreover, the project was well suited to my personality because I'm very curious and I enjoy understanding how things work. I will definitely go back to Ireland because I fell in love with the countryside and its positive vibes. As a final Irish word, here is to a long life and a merry one, a quick death and an easy one, a pretty girl and an honest one, a cold pint and another one. <laughs>